everyone. Welcome to Learning is Fun with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn how to use fact patterns to complete addition equations. Look at the sums on an addition facts table for add-ins 0 to 5. Describe one of the patterns that you see. Remember to use words, colors, or addition facts to describe patterns. So, what can you do to remember the facts? If you said you can use the patterns on an addition facts table to help you remember the addition facts, then you did a great job. Yes, you can definitely use addition facts tables to help you remember the facts. Let's find out how. Let's look at this question. How can you describe a pattern for all the sums of six? Now, let's start with six. Six moves zero places, so six plus zero is six. Now let's go to five. Five moves over, over one place, so five plus one is six. Now let's go to four. Four moves over two places, so four plus two is six. Let's go to three. Three moves over three places, so three plus three is six. And let's see how. If we're at three, let's hop over three places. Four, five, six. Now let's look at two. If we are at two, and we move over four places. Let's see what happens. Three, four, five, six. Two plus four is six. And if we are at one and we move over five places, let's see what happens. One. So that's where we're at. And we're going to count onwards. Two. Three, four, five, six. One plus five is six. And if we're at zero, we just have to hop over six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zero plus six is six. Now, what do you see happening? Can you see that it makes a diagonal pattern? Yes, it does make a diagonal pattern, and a lot of times, many numbers will make vertical and horizontal patterns as well. Great job, guys. Now, you can write an addition equation. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 4 and 2 are add-ins for the sum of 6. 4 and 2 are add-ins. They're the numbers being added together. Six is the sum. It's the answer to an addition equation. Now, if we start at four and hop over two, hop down, actually, two places, we end up at six. And if we are at two, we hop over four places and we end up at six. So let's try that four, Five, six. We only went over two places to go to six. And if we start at two, we only have to go three, four, five, six. Four places to get to six. So two plus four is six, and four plus two is six. Yes, if you've found another pattern, great job. If you switch the add ins when you're adding, then the sum doesn't change. That's right. Great job. Let's keep going. So you said you can use addition facts table to help yourself solve the addition equations. Let's see how you can do that. If you have 10 plus 6, what will you do? Let's count together. 
We start with 10 and hop over six places, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now let's start with nine. Nine and hop over seven places. So let's do that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So far we have 10 plus six equals 16 and nine plus seven equals 16. Now let's try eight plus eight. Here we are with eight. If we start with eight, we count onwards eight more places. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So eight plus eight is 16. 10 plus six is 16. Nine plus seven is 16. Eight plus eight is 16. Great job. Now let's start with seven and hop over nine places. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Seven plus nine is 16. Yes, seven plus nine is 16. Now let's start with six and count 10 places over. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Six plus 10 is 16. Yes, six plus 10 is 16. Now, do you see something that's happening right now? Yes, if you said that you you can see a diagonal number pattern with the sum of 16, and then you are correct. All of these add-ins help us to get to 16. Now, look at these numbers and pause the video. Let's do some practice. 10 plus blank equals 14. Blank plus five equals 14. Eight plus six equals blank. Seven plus blank equals 14. Blank plus six equals 14. Nine plus blank equals 14. Blank plus four equals 14. Pause the video and let's do some practice. Now, let's see how well you did by using your fact patterns again to complete each equation. Ten plus four equals fourteen. Nine plus five equals fourteen. Eight plus six equals fourteen. Seven plus seven equals fourteen. Eight plus six equals fourteen. Nine plus five equals fourteen. And ten plus four equals fourteen. And here's our diagonal number pattern with the sum of 14. Let's look at, look at a word problem together. Linda is sorting items by their shapes. She finds nine items that are shaped like squares and five items that are shaped like circles. How many items does she find in all? Hmm, pause the video and take a shot at this one. Let's see how well you did. So let's work out this answer together. 
if there are nine items shaped like squares and five items shaped like circles, then nine plus five is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nine plus five is 14. Yes, so there are 14 items in all. Now let's look at another word problem. Michael has a collection of soccer balls. He has seven red balls and six yellow balls. How many soccer balls does he have in all? Pause the video and let's see what you can do. All right, let's go over the problem together. So if there are seven red balls and six yellow balls, let's hop over six places, but we're going to start at seven. So let's make our hops. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seven plus six equals 13. Great job practicing with me. And in today's lesson, we learned how to use fact patterns to complete addition equations. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.